Okay, we are live. What's up, guys? First person already here, six, seven seconds into it. That's pretty awesome. So I am at a UNLV's campus right now. Uh, some of you may know UNLV is actually really close here to the Strip. So I'll, you guys will be able to see it actually better over there. Olivia Carr, you are absolutely first. You are awesome. Caleb, what's up? So I'm at UNLV's campus right now, guys. Um, you can see it's close to the Strip. You can actually see, like, the wind right over there. You can see the high road. Roller at the link, uh, the Hard Rock Hotel. You can see over to I think MGM Signature, Polo Towers. So as we walk around this way, you guys will uh, be able to see more safe space. I don't know if they do safe space at UNLV. So I'll walk the campus here a bit. It is a uh, it's a fairly sizable campus. UNLV, I'm trying to remember, I think it's close to 30,000 students, maybe more. So, hello from Ireland. Well, hi, Anne Marie. So, you guys can tell I'm right over here by like baseball field, softball diamond, all that kind of stuff right now. And you guys can see the stratosphere over in the distance. I think this here looks like the uh, practice facility for the football team, or maybe for all sports. Let's see, just trying not to get hit by any cars. Forty-three people in like two minutes, that is pretty good. You know, it is nice outside right now, but you guys can see, like, so obviously you see the sun, right? Sun is bright, blue sky, white clouds. Look over here, you see all these gray clouds, right? It's kind of dark over this way. I'll walk this way, you can see the sky a bit better. So this is all because it was raining just up until about, oh, an hour ago. <laughs> it was actually raining. So, hey, it was raining big time earlier. People running errands, running in and out of the grocery store in the rain. All right, this gate is wide open, so, well, yeah. <laughs> it's not locked, it's not shut, just walk right on in. So I'll show you guys, looks like the tennis court's here. Like you said, they're all, like I mentioned earlier, there's rain, there's water on the courts. And yeah, it's definitely the practice facility for the football team. The other side of the building says uh, Jim Wright's Pool, or Jim Reed's, not sure how to pronounce it. So it looks like a facility here, practice fields, probably all the coaches' offices, locker room for practice, all that stuff. UNLV, for the time being, is still playing out at uh, Sam Boyd Stadium until the Las Vegas Raiders get their stadium built right over here by the Strip. That'll be much better for the program when they get the stadium built here near the Strip because Sam Boyd is a bit of a drive. And I think it might have originally been built just for rodeo, if I'm not mistaken. They also use it for football and um, I think what do they do? Uh, BMX out there. They might do monster truck rallies out there. So It'll be good <laughs> to get their students to the games when the stadium is right here near campus instead of 20, 25, 30 minute drive out to Sam Boyd. You saw the UNLV team at LaGuardia in NYC. Must have been traveling for basketball is my guess. Or now we're into baseball season. You guys can see the Mandalay Bay in the distance. You can hear the planes going overhead. Because Tropicana is just right over there. Uh, you can see yeah, Mandalay Bay, Hyatt Place. I mean, there's the Thomas and Max Center over there. That's where the UNLV men's basketball team plays. That's where, oh. Uh, a little over four years ago now, I went and watched the uh, 
PBR, Professional Bull Riders. I got to watch that over there. That was pretty awesome. I've seen basketball games there before. Yeah, <laughs> SEC football is pretty different than <laughs> probably most places in the country. So, yeah, I've been, been there for SEC football games before. It's a different animal down south. Out, out west, people like football, but it's a different culture than in the south. So here's uh, uh, Harmon. Yeah, this is Harmon. This goes right all the way down into the strip. We'll take you up to uh, Planet Hollywood. Take you to the Aria, because Tropicana is right over there. So yeah, I mean, you're only, I mean, you can walk from the Hard Rock to the strip, and you can walk from here to the strip if you wanted. But yeah, here's the campus, like right near a lot. Love Tarkanian and go Trojans. Yeah. Frank and Vicky Fertitta Tennis Complex. Fertitas are a pretty well known family here in the Vegas area because they do own uh, Stations Casinos, I believe. I believe they are pretty big donors here of <laughs> UNLV. Just keep cruising along this way. You can see, I can read it from here. You probably can't read it on the screen. You can see the library in the distance. What's interesting is these apartments right here. Like this one here, this one here. There might be one more. Are actually not owned by the university <laughs> they're not part of the uh, campus property so because UNLV does have their own police department but obviously but as the campus's police department university police department their authority is over issues on campus so these are technically off campus <laughs> these are not part of the campus property and they actually have more across the street even closer to the airport near the other side of Tropicana the university has more property over there. I think it used to be an elementary school, and they bought it. I think they use it for continuing education for adult classes. Golden Knights are beating up on the Sharks. Glad to hear it. <laughs> Glad to hear it. So... I know someone mentioned Tarkanian a moment ago. I see right here they have a street named after him. Uh, this is just a roundabout, okay. Portland, Oregon, you NBA team. Love the videos. Thank you. Okay. Eh, there's a strip right over there. Here we are. All right, Tarkanian Way. You know, guys, I'll give you guys the uh, decision. Am I going to go down this way? Over to Thomas and Mac, where the basketball team plays. Am I gonna go down this way towards like the library and towards Maryland Parkway? Some airplanes. For sure, not yet Christmas. Thomas and Mac says crash. Library says Ivy. It's like sports versus academics right now, right? Thomas and Mac. Left, well, left would be library, so library. Okay, library's in the lead. Maryland Parkway by the library. Okay. All right, well, hey, we'll go library, you guys. You got it.
Let's see over at Lock K, some staff parking. Center for Arid Lands, Biodiversity Research and Education. Absolutely. So I'm Adam David. David? Nice to meet you, man. I've, I've worked here for 15 years. Do you teach? Uh, no, I do academic advising. Oh, nice. So I think I've seen a couple of years, like uh, Uber. I think I, I've seen general stuff. General yeah, there's, there's, like a, there's probably over 600 videos now. Oh, are you really? <laughs> oh, yeah. Are, are, what, were you from the Bay Area, San Jose area? I moved here from San Jose. Yeah, I did. I went to San Jose State. So? Yeah. Made the transition. No traffic and it's cheap, man. <laughs> yeah, compared to there. Yeah. Uh, I'm live streaming right now. I got about 60 people watching. Yeah. On the live stream. Nice, nice. Just decided to come over to campus and walk around for a bit. Never, I mean, I've been on campus numerous times, but never taken the camera. It's changed a lot on it's campus. What up? Good morning. People saying hi. When does the semester end? Uh, like May, what, 20th, right around there. Third, fourth yeah. week of May, usually. And they have uh, ceremonies. Yeah. All right, so here, you can help me this, Dave. Where's the student store? People are asking. Student store. So uh, it's, it's in the big student union building. If uh -huh. you go about three football fields that way, 300 yards that way. Oh, geez. Closer to Maryland Parkway. So you got a 15 minute walk from here. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's where you get the UNLV t shirts and all that stuff. Okay, so yeah. you got to hit Maryland Parkway, make a right. Yep. Or just cut all the way across. Yeah, because this doesn't go through. Harmon doesn't go through. Right. Yeah. Got to dead end here, right by the library. Do they, st do they still have a bachelor's degree in hospitality? They get one of the biggest majors. Yeah, exactly. That's what, because what's behind us, right? A lot of, a lot of internships <laughs> right behind but us. That's what the place is known for. Yeah. Jeez. Big nursing school, big business school. Right. Yeah. And how many campuses? Three? Uh, yeah, I mean this and then the one. Yeah, this is the main one, though. You know. Yeah, uh, certainly. Yeah. But then you have the medical school. Correct. Over by UMC. Correct. And then, uh, isn't there one more? Uh, I mean, not really. They have the College okay. of Southern Nevada. Those are, those. They have three campuses for the junior college. Gotcha. It'd be the equivalent to our San Jose City College. Right. Yeah. Do you know the student store is near the cafeteria? Is one uh, of my not really. Oh. By the dorms, and right. the, the student stores are kind of about a 10 minute walk from there. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. Hi, brother. Take care, man. Thank you. Vegas now, pick out our new home before we move here. We're actually walking in your direction right now. Nice, Justin. So, this is cool for any of you that are military folks. So that was fun. I got to chat with the academic advisor for a little bit. This is right here. We made it to Lied Library. So right here behind the library, Thomas and Mac is right there. This is the Lily Fong Geoscience Building right up here. Looks like the EPA, Office of Research and Development. I've been in this library before. It's pretty nice. It's got to be is it six stories. I'm not exactly sure. The Harry Reid Center for Environmental Studies. There's no Harry Reid got a building named after him here.
All right, we'll walk right through the middle of campus here. Man, it's a little cool right now. I think it's in the low 50s. It is pretty nice after that rain. I was ready for that rain to stop, though. Ah, Charlie Keir, two bucks on the super chat. Well, thank you for the tip, Charlie. I <laughs> appreciate it. I'm gonna say about 60 people watching 16 minutes in on a weekday that I just kind of improvised. I have a couple videos to edit tonight and tomorrow. And I got some stuff coming in the near future that you guys are gonna like, especially those of you that are looking to live here or that already do live here. So let's see. What else do we have here? We have classroom building complex. Franklin J. Coke Auditorium. Oh, you can see. It's definitely different, I'm sure, for the students who go to school here to just be walking on campus and see the most famous street in the world right down there. <laughs> just a few blocks away. This way, you have more, more of the campus here. I believe the police department is across the street. Um, there's a bit of property that the school owns that's not actually on this block right here. Hello from Schaumburg, Illinois. You're outside Chicago. MGM Resorts International Cafe and Plaza. Okay. You all the big names here. Tarkanian, Reed. MGM Resorts, all the big names and brands and companies got names on buildings here or streets named after them. So there's an auditorium. Temperature right now, it's in the low 50s, guys. That's what my car said anyway on the way here. Just cool enough, I threw, a, threw my sweater on, so. Let's see what this is. Looks like an intentional display. Ah, uh, gotcha. Just to encourage people to not speed and drive recklessly. Central Desert Complex. Hi from Colorado. Moving next May. You got about a year. Let's see, what is this building here? This is the Carol C. Harder classroom building complex. I'm not sure who Carol Harder is. I'm not sure if she's prominent in Nevada history or maybe uh, one of the donors to the university. Moving in May. Well, if you're coming this May, you're going to be here soon. I like that. Be a rebel. Moving in September. Quite a few get ready to come here. All right, let's see. What's everything in this building? Lecture halls, liberal arts, interdisciplinary studies, international programs, IT, psychology, sociology, Women's Research Institute of Nevada, classrooms and labs. See, there's the Thomas and Mack Center again. Student Services Center. Dang, I've been going for just over 20 minutes now.
may go back to the Tuscany. I may do what I can to cover a lot of ground here in Las Vegas, but as you guys know, there's a lot to cover. The Academic Success Center might be where uh, our friend Dave was walking to earlier. Visiting in two weeks, says Aaron. Cool. Two weeks where they'll still be nice. Won't be too hot by then. April's nice, but it's just pretty windy here. May is nice. That's when it's getting warmer. But even June, I think sometimes even beginning of June, first week or two can be pretty nice. But once you're in that second half of June, that's when the heat is definitely here. <laughs> From that second half of June all the way through July, of course. And then through August, definitely the first half of August. I say the second half of August cools off a little. But then September is usually pretty nice. Heck, as you can see, see the Luxor in the distance out there? <laughs> That's kind of cool. It was raining. It was raining until about an hour, hour and a half ago. center fitness outdoor trips pool pool sports student health counseling psych services dental medicine Einstein bros bagels cool I think we're gonna just walk all the way here to Tropicana it's got to be Tropicana And I believe this here is some of the student housing on campus. But actually, to use the gym here on campus, I don't believe you actually have to be a student. I think you can just pay for a normal membership if you live here in the area and just come use it. Watching from New Zealand. Nah, after this, after this live stream, when I cut, I'm gonna cut it for a little while. So I got some video stuff to edit tonight, and a whole bunch of files I need to uh, clear out <laughs> on my camera, phone, computer, <laughs> all kinds of stuff to organize. Tons of footage that I gather sometimes for other videos I'm going to do in the future. Then sometimes just get backed up. It gets a little challenging to keep track of it all. Moving to Vegas from Boston. Cool, man. You'll see some other Boston folks. New York, New Jersey folks. Here in Vegas. See, again, right here on campus. See Mandalay Bay. The Delano from here. Still see the Luxor. Heck, you can even see the eSports Arena logo they have there. William S. Boyd Hall. So looks like more student housing over here on this part of campus. You know what? I feel like going this way. Change my mind. I feel like going this way. So Montreal. <laughs> Montreal's watching. Yeah, you can see some mountains. Rock across this area to like the corner campus.
go right by here. Perfect weather. That's pretty nice right now. So earlier that rain was not very fun. People driving kind of hectic. And nope, not a bad campus. If you're moving here from a cold area, you get used to it. <laughs> Hundreds of thousands of other people have gotten used to it. You will. Not promising you're gonna love it. But you'll adapt. What do you got here? So you got two half course for basketball. That looks like it's across the street. St. Thomas Aquinas Catholic Newman Center. Okay. Looks like they have some sand of volleyball pits over there. Now we'll head this way. We'll head this way across the campus. Yeah, I'm not sure if you know these on spring break right now. It is kind of quiet around here. Uh, as you can see across the street here, grocery store. Oh, Anthony Smith, five bucks in the super chat. Thank you for the tip, my man. Finally got you on live stream. Thanks for all you do. Keep up the good work. Keep up the information, Jay. You got it, my man. I will do it. I enjoy it. I like it. At this point, I don't know how many people have moved to Vegas that have watched me before they got here. You know, I thought UNLV was somewhere around 30,000 students. I could be wrong, but I thought they were in that range. I'm going to guess they have at least 20. Oh, you're welcome, Gigi. Glad you enjoyed the live streams. The sky is all gray. It just turns that baby blue with the white clouds, just like the hat. Are there any homes for a single person? Of course. <laughs> Lots of homes. It's just oftentimes they're families who buy versus single people. <laughs> Thank you, Anthony. You're awesome, my man. Cruising this way. Dude, this campus, I gotta admit, is right by a lot of activity. <laughs> I mean, to be just a couple blocks from the strip, to be right by the airport, you can constantly hear the planes going by. Of course, many years ago, Vegas was a lot smaller, so it may not have been as active. Uh, I don't wanna walk that way. Let's cross over this way. Slow down. So we're still on the campus property here. Pretty much walk you guys all to the corner of Maryland and uh, Tropicana. Justin Spurrier, $5 tip. Thank you, my man. Awesome. You guys are helping improve my Tuesday. Can't wait to get here on May 8th. It's a good time to come. I'm sure this Vaughn's across the street. A lot of students do their grocery shopping.
Yeah, it looks like we got some kind of construction or remodeling going on that building over there. See a big parking structure. I'm not sure if those are offices or what that is. And across the street over there, there's uh, even more places to go eat and stuff like that. Oh, there's definitely apartments here in this area. I don't know off the top of my head, but I mean, anywhere near a university, there's got to be apartments for people to live in. If you get to this part of town, this is an older part, an older area. You get to like Maryland here. You know what? I'll walk you guys over this way too. Why not? I'm just kind of cruising along. <laughs> Let's see. Only in Vegas, right next to the campus. You got beer, cigarettes, and poker. <laughs> so only in Vegas, you got video poker bars right next to college campus. All right, hopefully there's an opening over here. Somewhere on the campus, making my life easier to go across here. Yeah, that's Vegas, all right. Yes, it is. I remember when I was researching Vegas for moving here, I found some website or some forum of this mom who was concerned about, uh, I think it was her daughter, I don't know, son or daughter moving to Vegas. They're going to UNLV. And they were worried about it being close to the strip and stuff like that. And some other parent on there chimed in that her daughter went to UNLV and that they really don't go to the strip very often. Because you pretty much got to be 21 for all the fun stuff. And then, like I've talked about before, when you live here, you look at the strip differently. You don't live here and think like, oh man, let's go to the strip all day for three days. <laughs> Just like not sleep at all. You know, it's different when it's right over there versus when you're traveling hundreds of miles. Uh, well, it looks like this is all fenced off here. I don't feel like climbing right now. So, there's a building there, but I doubt it's open. I'll just go this way. Got the job. Glad to hear it. I don't even feel like I've been walking for over half an hour. <laughs> Does not feel like it's been that long. And I'm just kind of enjoying cruising around, enjoying the cool weather, a little bit of wind blowing in the hair. It's nice. How is this trip from here? Well, there's Tropicana right there. So all you gotta do is go, I don't know, a mile or so to get down to the strip area and a lot of the action. I'm cruising around campus right now, guys. Relocating from Atlanta, I'm sure that'll be a bit of a change. Coming from down south to the desert. You'll find some other southern folks here though, that's for sure. You definitely hear some people in Vegas say y'all. Even I say y'all sometimes, not from California. <laughs> 